The Spider You Failed to Kill Author Unknown I bet you think you're so clever Trapping me under a transparent cage Sliding it Forcing me onto a white plane That quickly swallowed me The same way the giant whirlpool you dumped me into did With my newfound intelligence I have learned that you merely flush me down a toilet. A hole meant for nothing more than your excrement. But why didn't you squish me while I was still tiny? At least it would have been over for the both of us in an instant. But you were scared, weren't you? Scared to even look at me or touch me with your claws. Well, instead of drowning in your deep hull of human feces and who knows what else, I survived the haven of solid objects that the water disposed me into. It gave me room to climb in this repugnant, rusted cave. I ascended onto rotting death of vermin and discarded chemicals. There was nothing to satiate myself besides abhorrent bile mixed with who knows what. But, through a stroke of luck, it seems that something else caused me to grow and to learn. I became larger, stronger, about the size of that loud Belgian black dog of yours and up the spout I climbed. With my also newly found intelligence, I navigated the pipes, having to travel a much larger pipe that led up to a man-sized hole. And using your scent, I located your house. It wasn't hard to get in, since you leave one of your entrances open at night, and I have eight claws. Your dog greeted me warmly, an interesting note I think you should have taken into consideration. Anyway. Up to your room I climbed and sat positioned right above you on your ceiling. A small rectangular block next to you lit up faintly as you slept. It was connected into the wall with a white tendril similar to the one that I hang above you. The object illuminated me right above you, casting a delicate shadow in the room, surrounding me in a soft light, projecting even the small hairs on my limbs in their movement as you breathe on to me. But you stayed fast asleep. Fast asleep. <laughs> the block went dark again, and I proceeded 
and I landed on your neck and quickly inserted four of my claws into your mouth in order to muffle the hole that made so much sound when you originally found me long, long ago. Your eyes shot open, confused, lame and petrified and scared to move. You refused to use your fangs to bite down on my claws, out of what I can only assume was fear. Your own claws stayed by your sides, not even held down by my extra limbs. As the block lit up again, briefly revealing my face, only inches from yours, your eyes widened, almost of the size of all of mine. Finally, you are forced to face me. A stench of fear and disgust filled the air as delicious bile came coursing from your throat. I ate and ate, and I kept on eating. Soon you stopped, and I became full. Oh, was I scared? Of course, I had to face the human that once tried to murder me. But revenge is what I deserved, and I faced my fear. You should have... You should have just squished me <laughs> when you had the chance. <laughs>